Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the draft is upon us. And anybody who knows me knows this is pretty much my Christmas. Now, let's just backtrack to last year's draft. So, we all know Ezekiel Elliott, fourth overall pick, killed it, beasted it out. We all know that they picked up Anthony Brown in the sixth round, who turned out to be a pretty decent corner for a guy you pick up in the sixth round. We also all know that they picked up Dak Prescott in the fourth round. And they picked him up using the comp pick they got from DeMarco Murray leaving them the year before. So essentially, Philadelphia Eagles gave the Cowboys Dak Prescott. Thanks, guys. Now, let's talk about the pick that no one really talked about last year because he didn't play last year because he had a really, really horrible knee injury. And it's football. It happens. Now, they picked him up knowing because they the doctor that did the surgery is the Cowboys team doctor. Kind of just happened like that. Jalen Smith, who was actually, before the injury, ranked as the number one pick in the 2016 draft. We picked him up at in the second round. So the value there is just incredible. So as it was stated yesterday, his knee is now... It's, his knee's good. And now the nerve is firing. So now he can actually feel his foot again, which is, I know a lot of people won't understand that, but for a linebacker, your feet are pretty important. So him coming back this year kind of, in my opinion, negates the Dallas Cowboys' first overall pick, or first pick, sorry. Because with him coming back, that's essentially like already having a first round, actually not even a first round, a top five pick in this year's draft that's already on your roster. Because if that kid comes back 100% healthy, he might be... Okay, hold on. In my opinion, pre-injury, mind you, he was Luke Quickly mixed with Von Miller, which is like... If you think about those two players, if you know football, is ridiculous. So having him coming into training camp this year healthy is huge. It kind of, I won't say negates, but it kind of eliminates a certain need for the Cowboys. In my opinion, our biggest need at this point would be defensive back, considering we lost our entire secondary to free agency. But as Stephen Jones said, you can't keep paying the same guys to do the same thing because it's obviously not working. So I understand why they let certain players go. So with Jalen Smith coming back, and I've seen the videos of his training and stuff like that, and he's still wearing his um, his AFO for his for his nerve. But now that the nerve is firing and is and he's able to move his foot on his own, come training camp, this kid's going to be a full go, in my opinion. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to I'm not going to make assumptions. But in my opinion, his brace is going to be coming off soon, and if that kid is back to 100, percent that guy and Sean Lee might might be the best linebacker combo in the NFL. Like, wow, that's you're going into the draft thinking about this. So, that's pretty incredible. Now, if you watch the X's and O's on this kid, he is arguably, and I hate to say this, but he's probably one of the best pass rushers the Cowboys have already. So, that'll, that eliminates another need. He's obviously not going to put his hand in the dirt and line up at defensive end, but if you can blitz a linebacker, that's good. Sean Lee can blitz, but he can't blitz like Jalen Smith. Pre-injury. I'm going to keep going back to pre-injury because we all don't know what he's going to come back as. And I'm not going to hold my hope out because I've done that for the Cowboys a few times and, well, it's hurt. So let's go to this year's draft. So this is what worries me the most. There's a lot of players now that are dropping in draft status due to the fact that one guy just got accused of rape today. Another another two had diluted samples when they went for their, their marijuana test, their drug test. And then there's also the corners that are all dropping like flies, getting injured, doing like training outside of anything they should be doing anyway. So now this is what bothers me the most, is if Jerry's in control of this draft, which I don't think he is, but if he is, 
He's going to see like these guys and be like, oh, they're dropping. Let's draft them at 28 because we have a low pick anyway. No, Jerry. No. You draft best player available. I don't care if it's freaking O.J. Howard from Alabama in a tight end. Witten's going to retire in the next year, maybe two. If you can get O.J. Howard and he's there, you freaking pick him up immediately. Because that kid is insane. I know he's a tight end. We have Jason Witten. He might not play for a year. But at the end of the day, when Witten retires, which is inevitable, and it's coming very soon, now you have the best tight end in this draft. Perfect. So, essentially, I'm going to do another video on the draft, but this video is pretty much based on Jalen Smith and how stoked I am that this kid's going to be playing for the Cowboys this year. Because this guy mixed with Sean Lee, oh my lord. Get ready, Cowboys Nation. Get ready.